Hey everyone, this is Ross, and today I'm starting off a new fish care series called 5 Minute Fish Facts. And the aim of this series is to give you a lot of facts about one species of fish in less than 5 minutes. So today I'm going to be starting off my series with one of my favourite types of fish, and that is Cory Catfish. The full name is Cory Doris Catfish. In my case I have bronze quarries. There's many different types. There's peppered quarries, emerald green quarries, sturveys, um, albino quarries. There's so many varieties I can't name them all, otherwise the video would be more than five minutes. If you just type in Corydoras catfish on Google Images, you'll see just how many varieties there are. Um, Cory catfish are usually quite timid, although mine seem to be very excitable, because they know that they'll get fed when I'm in the room. Um, they usually dart up to the surface for a breath of air, because they can actually breathe air from the surface. Uh, so don't be worried if they dart up to the surface every now and again. Uh, if they do that too much, it shows that you've got quite bad water quality, and you maybe want to get a better filter, or do water changes more often. Um, they've got a lot of personality, these fish. As you can see, they're always swimming about. Um, some can be a little shy, so... The benefit from a few hiding places in the aquarium, in my case I've got lots of plants that they can hide in if they feel threatened, but they never seem to use them. Um, but the more hiding places they have in the aquarium, the more confident they'll feel and the more they'll come out. Um, the maximum size is around 2 to 3 inches, so they're fine for small aquariums, 10 to 15 gallons. I wouldn't go any smaller than 10 gallons. Um, but there have been some reports of keeping them in 5 gallons. Um, so yeah, they really like planted aquariums. Maximum size is 3 inches. And um, there's many different types. The uh, recommended temperature is from 21 degrees Celsius to around 28 degrees Celsius. Um, the pH range is around 6 to 8. Although some people have been able to keep them in lower pHs than that around four some people but I wouldn't really go that low you, you can if you like but just do your research um, they get very good community fish as you can see they're getting on really well with all the other fish they're not attacking them the other fish aren't attacking them and they just get on really well so I definitely recommend them if you've got something small like uh, cardinal tetras or neon tetras or even shrimp because some types of fish like cichlids I think actually eat shrimp so, um, yeah, these won't eat anything in the aquarium that's um, too big. And what they do all day is to just sift through the sand or the substrate. And um, it's very important not to have a sharp substrate for them. Uh, as you can see, I have fluorite sand in my tank. And it's actually very soft to the touch. Some sands are actually very sharp. And if you'll notice, on the end of the mouth, they've actually got whiskers. They're called barbells, and they can actually be worn down on sharp gravel or, or sand. So just make sure that the uh, substrate is very soft, and that they can't damage themselves on it. As you can see, the whiskers there, they can be worn down very easily. And once they get worn down, infections can get in, and the fish can actually die. So just make sure you have a nice soft substrate for them. That's one of the most important things uh, to have in your tank for them. If you have... A gravel tank if you don't have any sand in your tank I'd highly recommend just um, separating an area with stones and maybe putting sand in there so they have got some sand to go to if they don't like the gravel uh, they can be kept in all gravel aquariums as long as the gravel is smooth and they can't hurt themselves on it um, they originate from South America mostly in the Amazon come from slow moving streams and rivers so don't have the current too strong in your tank um, so I think that's pretty much it I'm sure there's a lot more you can learn about them but that's what the internet's for I suppose but um, yeah pretty easy fish to keep get on with all of our fish and um, just nice little fish always see them scratting around in the sand or substrate looking for tiny morsels of food Alright, so thanks a lot for watching. If you like this vid, then please leave a nice comment, please like the video, and please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.